All right, you might be wondering which of these Shopify plans should I actually choose? Or alternatively, hey, I'm using a Shopify plan. Why would I ever upgrade to a more expensive plan? Well, follow along in this video because I'm going to explain to you the different types of Shopify plans, when it makes sense to upgrade, when you're losing money because you're not upgrading and the basic difference between each and every one of them. The first one is Shopify Lite. Hmm. Shopify Lite is $9 a month and basically just gives you a buy now button. This is fantastic for people that want the inventory and customer management system of Shopify, but that are more comfortable with another website creator software. Other website creator software, you might be asking, what else can you really have out there? Well, maybe you have a WordPress blog that has really, really high SEO rankings and you don't want to lose that and you really like your custom WordPress blog. Or maybe you want to put your buy now button on a completely different website from someone else. You can do that with the Shopify Lite plan. Now, before we continue, it is really important you understand the difference between transaction fees and credit card fees. To keep it simple, transaction fees are basically the fees that the company that provides your online store charges while credit card fees depend from your payment gateway. So different payment gateways are going to charge different credit card fees. Okay, so for the Shopify light plan, that was the nine US dollars fix a month. And then you're going to get a uh, 2.9 percentage plus 30 cent credit card fees if you use the Shopify payment gateway. If you don't use the Shopify payment gateway, for example, you use PayPal or Braintree, or really any other payment gateway, Stripe, then you're going to be paying the credit card fees of that payment gateway, for example, Stripe, plus a 2% additional fee that Shopify is gonna charge you for using another payment gateway instead of their own. See, Shopify is making that dough on, that, on those credit card fees. So if you're leaving to another payment gateway, they're gonna make sure that they charge you. Okay, but for most people, Shopify lights, really, how are you really gonna use it? Most people are gonna be using the basic Shopify version. This is where you can actually have all your inventory management, all your client management, all your order management, but you can also have the Shopify website builder, which is what you most likely want. Frankly, if you are starting an online store, this is really the plan for you. It makes it super easy to start an online website to build that online website. It gives you a whole bunch of features. I'm not gonna name them all out. I'm just gonna lay them out right here. And you should know that all of this is gonna cost you the classic $29 a month for Shopify but there are some additions to this. This is also the plan where you can install apps. You have over like 5,000 apps you can install, some paid, some are free, where you can have different themes. And for credit card and transaction fees, we're basically following this model right here, which is exactly the same as the Shopify Lite. Now we're moving up to $50 a month to the Shopify plan, not the basic, just called Shopify plan. Okay, wait, Andrew, why would I start paying more if Shopify basic gives me a lot already? Well, that's where the key of this entire video lies. Transaction fees and credit card fees. So that's basically the gist of this entire video about Shopify plans. As you move up in the Shopify plans, yes, you get more features and that's a lot of fun and we'll cover those in detail, but as you move up, your transaction and credit card fees are going down. So yes, you might be paying more a month, but your cost per transaction is going down. So at some point, if you're doing enough sales, that base fee covers what you're saving in transaction. For example, on the Shopify plan, if you use Shopify as your payment gateway, the credit card fee just dropped from 2.9 to 2.6% plus 30 cents per transaction. Okay, so besides lower credit card fees, what does the Shopify plan have? As an advantage, well, you have advanced reporting, which is really quite useful, especially if you work in a slightly bigger team where you have to communicate, having nice reports that are detailed and outlined really is a benefit there. In addition to this, you can also sell in multiple languages with the Shopify plan. That what you could only do in the Shopify basic plan with certain apps and add-ons, and it gets a little bit more tricky. In the Shopify plan, you can do it with five languages out of the box, and it gives you a custom URL. Let's say www.amazon.com slash German. 
Hmm. Also, this might be interesting if you're shipping with USPS and your requirements of the packages that you're shipping out are less than these two things. I think it's 20 pounds and 0.5 cubic uh, cubic square feet. Is that possible? Anyway, in those cases, Shopify gives you a USPS discount, so you can save on shipping as well. Okay, now that we've seen the Shopify Lite, Shopify Basic, Shopify... Shopify? We're gonna look at the Shopify Advanced one. So remember that in all the other plans we talked about the transaction fees and the credit card fees, well, in the Shopify Advanced plans, these one drop yet again. So this were the fee for the Shopify plan, and these are the fees right now for the Shopify Advanced plans. You're saving some money again, depending on how big yourself. The price tag for the Shopify Advanced plan is $2.99 US a month. Okay. Besides saving money on transaction fees and credit card fees, what else do you really get with the Advanced plan? Well, you get significantly better reporting. So again, if you're in big organizations and reporting is a must for easy communications between departments, then this is getting really interesting. But so another reason why we advise our clients to move up to the Shopify Advanced plan is the real-time shipper display fees. So this means that the shipping rates are automatically going to be calculated correctly at checkout. So you don't have to like create zones and do like a bulk amount. No, 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 no. Shopify now talks directly to the shipper and gives you the correct rates. Well, to your shipper, your correct rates. If that makes sense. Now I can already hear you say, Andrew, I have a lower version of the Shopify advanced plan. I just have the Shopify basic, yet I also have real-time carrier rates in my checkout and that is true but there is one major difference in it is that you can only do that with carriers that shopify has a partnership with while on the shopify advanced plan you can have it with all carriers anywhere in the world so that's kind of where the handoff happens and then we arrive at the shopify plus plan well the shopify plus plan actually really only makes sense once you start selling for north of 1.4 1.2 billion dollars you at billion golly million dollars us per year so if you're being selling like 1.6 million dollars a year in transactions on your shopify store then you should be shopify plus because otherwise you're leaving money on the table like literally now the price tag for this shopify plus is shopify is going to tell you that it's negotiable and we kind of got to have a talk together you and i but the reality is we serve about 90 shopify plus stores and it's usually two thousand dollars per month maybe a little bit more it starts at two thousand dollars per month let's just put it that way now maybe if you're selling a billion a month it's going to go even up and the transaction fees are going to go even down i don't know but you can calculate two thousand us a month for shopify plus one particular thing about shopify plus it is that it actually comes with a one-year agreement so you're gonna need to sign some some papers now remember that we were talking about the credit card fees and the transaction fees for shopify advance and really this is the main kicker this was for the shopify advance plan and this is for the shopify plus plan right hey now what are some other advantages of shopify plus besides saving money well, you're going to have account management, you're going to have Shopify flow, you're going to have Shopify scripts. Well, let's start that list off with Shopify flow. This is really a powerful tool. Shopify flow is like really, really popular with Shopify plus stores. What it basically does is it's a little app that allows you to do if and then operations. If a certain order comes in with these specific characteristics, then do this. Another example of what your Shopify flow could do is if the stock of product X gets below this amount, then automatically send an email to that supplier saying, hey, we need more. Those are things that save a lot of working hours and make flow really, really useful only on Shopify Plus. Another thing that you will only see on Shopify Plus is being able to customize your checkout. Now, Shopify is really big in the Apple movement, I call it, meaning like, hey, we give you a product, we tested it a million times, it works really, really well, don't touch it. Kind of like Apple, don't change out the battery, don't change out the memory, just use it as is. Shopify is very similar to that. So they will tell you, hey, we checked the checkout features, two-step checkout pages work really, really well, 
don't change it. Now, they do allow you to change it and completely rebuild your checkout like you want to a certain extent with the Shopify Plus version. So if you want to add some upsells in the checkouts or if you want to do one page checkouts without apps, Shopify Plus can definitely be a very good place to do that. Another thing that Shopify allows you to have on Shopify Plus is Shopify scripts. And these are little pieces of code and scripts that you can build for Shopify Plus specifically that can interact and do all kinds of things automatically on your store without external apps. For example, if a person puts this in their cart, automatically adds that product to their cart. Or if a person does this specific action, automatically make sure that this happens as well. So if this, then that type of scripts work, but pretty much any type of scripts work on the Shopify Plus script editor. It's kind of like a really useful way to make mini apps within Shopify and without having to rely on external apps. It's pretty cool. Another benefit of Shopify Plus is the Shopify account managers that you get assigned to you. So these are people working at Shopify with a whole bunch of contacts that are going to be able to talk to you and walk you through if you have any questions. Now, it really depends on who your account manager is. I heard Shopify Plus store owners being like, oh, thank the Lord for our account manager. And I have other Shopify Plus store owners that are like, I never talked to them, they're, no, I didn't use them. I know Shopify Plus account managers also works in different tiers. So, you know, lower revenue Shopify Plus stores are going to have a different type of account managers than, for example, Heinz Ketchup or Kylie Jenner. Obviously. Another cool thing with Shopify Plus is Shopify multi currencies based on IP addresses. So basically, when someone from France visits your store, Shopify immediately recognizes, hey, tu es Francais, and they put euros as a store currency versus if they come from America, they're going to put US dollars. Now, quite useful they do it all the way throughout the process the other shopify plans can also do this but again like in many things you need additional apps or you need to put a little currency selector in and this and that so mm, all right still works on other ones but it's out of the box with shopify plus so give and take and then the final little thing about shopify plus is the languages i think up to 20 languages that are included in shopify plus very easy to switch around remember the other shopify plan this one only had five languages, now you get 20. So mm, it's a little bit of that. All right, and then finally, let's quickly touch up on the Shopify point of sales system. Basically, this means if you have a brick and mortar store, or if you want to sell in a physical store, you need the, the system there. Shopify provides this as well out of the box for free, I guess, or included with all of the Shopify plans. Uh, however, this is pretty basic. You can sell in store and you can sync your inventories. All of that works, but the free version only has that many features. You have to upload to the pro version of Shopify POS, which is like $89 a month. Let me double check that. Yes, $89 a month. That's a monthly fee. You can add it to the Shopify basic plan all the way up to the Shopify plus plan. I mean, if you're in Shopify basic, $29 a month plus $89 a month, it's not. It's a, it's a considerable amount, let's put it that way. But it's going to be pretty useful if you're going to work with a large number of point of sale only staff. So people that only use your, your your physical point of sale system. Um, I think it's once you pass two or three of them, then it makes more sense to have the pro version. Another feature of the Shopify POS Pro is if you want to collect in store and buy online. So you want your customers to buy online and collect in store. If you want to do product exchanges or way easier printing of product of like recip recipes, recipes. I always mess this one up of this thing. If you want to print those things easily, then you need the Shopify POS Pro. Or like I said, if you want anything that has to really do with HR and staffing. So you want to assign certain sales to certain staff members using your POS um, and things like that, then you're going to need that extra $89 a month. Okay, so finally, I would like to quickly touch up on the fact that people tell me all the time, hey, is there really a difference between the Shopify Basic and Shopify Plus plan? Um, well, the really main core thing here is the lower transaction fees and credit card fees. So you're going to be saving money on there. Again, I said this a million times. Beside that, it feels like they're kind of gating certain Shopify Plus features just for the fact that they have to say like, hey, this is different. Is Shopify Plus and their extra features, is it really enterprise? 
<laughs> I guess it is. That's it about Shopify plans. I hope you find this video useful. Make sure to subscribe if you want more Shopify information and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.